It's Umsum time! Is fermented food huh? good for us? No! French fries are the best for me! All right, oh. now listen. Fermentation is a process in which natural bacteria and yeast break down the sugar and starch present in the food, ah. producing lactic acid and other compounds. For decades, fermenting was a technique to preserve food. However, nowadays, fermented food is getting a lot of attention because of the benefits it provides. Firstly, as the fermented food is pre-digested or broken down by bacteria, these foods are easier for us to digest. Ah. Secondly, fermentation increases the nutritional value by producing beneficial enzymes and vitamins. Thirdly, as microorganisms break down lactose present in the food, lactose intolerant people can eat yogurt and other fermented mm. milk products. Lastly. Fermented foods contain probiotics, which are good or friendly bacteria. They improve our gut health, thus leading to a healthy immune system. Hmm. Why does airplane <laughs> food taste bad? I don't know. Wait, I'll explain. <laughs> our ability to perceive taste is affected by a few factors such as humidity, air pressure, etc. In an airplane, the humidity is less as compared to that on the ground. This makes the air in the airplane quite dry. Mm. Also, to maintain the air pressure oh. inside and outside the airplane, the air pressure inside it is decreased. Decreased air huh? pressure and dry air dries our nose and mouth. Dry nose cannot properly smell odors. Yeah, dude, I'm not able to smell the burger. Now, smell of food helps us to understand the flavor and ingredients of the food. Thus, the food which we cannot smell properly appears hmm. unappealing. Also, dry mouth reduces the sensitivity of our taste buds. As a result, we cannot perceive the taste hmm. of food properly. Topic: Diffusion <laughs> Why can we smell hot food from a distance? Huh? Hey, looks like you have lost your way. No, I know the way. Fine, don't listen. Mm. <laughs> huh? <laughs> See, I told you. Mm. Now listen to me. Huh? There is a restaurant next to your house where hot sizzling food is available. <laughs> right? Mm. Oh yeah! <laughs> Yummy! Follow its smell and you will reach oh. home. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Yippee! I have reached home! Do you know how the smell of that food mm. reached you? Mm. When food gets cooked, it releases some huh? aromatic gases into the air. The molecules of these gases spread ah. and mix with air molecules. Ah. When this air reaches our nose, we get the smell of food. Mm. This process of spreading and mixing of a substance with another substance is called diffusion. But then, why couldn't I smell the food inside my house from a distance? This is because that food had become cold. Hmm. On heating huh? food, the molecules of its aromatic gases oh. gain kinetic energy and start vibrating faster. Hooray! They spread and mix easily into air, leading to an increased rate oh. of diffusion. Hmm. As the food gets cold, the temperature of the aromatic gases oh. decreases. The kinetic energy of molecules decreases and they do not ah. vibrate as much anymore. Hmm. Thus, the rate of diffusion decreases and we cannot smell the food from a distance. Mm. <laughs>